Hey everyone, Jake here. I really appreciate the feedback on my videos and wanted to expand a little bit on testing the difference in performance between the Apple Silicon Native and Rosetta Translated versions of Pro Tools 2023.3. I used a 2021 16-inch MacBook Pro with an M1 Max and 64 gigs of RAM and completed one test on battery power but plugged in my charger for the others. The test audio I used is a nearly 24-minute stereo mix of a TV show and we're going to throw on a few FabFilter plugins and see how much faster offline bounces are with the native version of Pro Tools. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it in the future, please like and subscribe to JP Audio. Since FabFilter plugins are both an industry standard and Apple Silicon AAX compatible, they're perfect for this simple experiment. I inserted a stereo instance of Pro C2, Pro MB, and Pro L2, all with four times over sampling on our audio file. For my first test, I wanted to see if dynamic plugin processing improved, so I bounced just the dialogue for the show while on battery power. The difference in online bounce time wasn't huge, but the native version did beat Rosetta by more than 3 seconds. Next, I plugged in my power adapter and bounced the entire mix, and this is where we'll see the biggest difference in bounce time. Native wins again, but this time by nearly 20 seconds. This shows us that with Apple Silicon AAX plugins running on native versions of Pro Tools, there is potential to process at much faster speeds when offline bouncing. I confirmed this by deactivating the FabFilter plugins for another test. Somehow Rosetta took the win by less than a second in my first trial, but then Native came out faster in the second attempt. Lastly, I wanted to see how the offline bounces would fare with the Pro Tools demo session, Low Roar, which has a lot of tracks, virtual instruments, and plugins. The results speak for themselves here, with the native version of Pro Tools 2023 taking the crown for offline bounces. Here's a recap of my test results. These improvements could be a game changer for you, depending on your workflow in Pro Tools. I'm looking forward to checking out even more of the improvements with the latest version of Pro Tools, so stay tuned if you are too. Please check out my other video that discusses all of the new features in this version of Pro Tools. I'm Jake with JP Audio, thanks for watching.